Hey guys, I'm Darcy. I recently went on a trip to Ecuador, which is in South America, and I thought it would be fun to bring back some South American treats and snacks, test them out for you, and let you know what I think. That way, in case you ever go to South America, you know which treats to bring back. Let's start with this one. It's a chip. It's called Torneritos Queso. So, cheese flavored. They look a lot like bugles. We'll see if it's comparable. I'm not sure. Either way, this bag costs like 13 cents, so it's not a huge investment. Let's try it out. Hmm. It actually tastes a lot like a Cheeto. It doesn't look like a Cheeto, but it tastes a lot like a Cheeto. I'm a fan of these. These are good. Hmm. Torneritos queso, thumbs up. Let's try the next snack. So this one I bought because I thought it was chocolate covered fortune cookies and I really like fortune cookies. And I, I feel a little bit tricked because there's the fortune cookie here and here. That's just the brand logo. It's actually just chocolate, but we'll see. Ecuador is actually known for their chocolate, so maybe it won't be bad. They're all super broken, but they're little dinosaurs. You probably won't be able to see, but we'll try. Um, I'm gonna go with the head of the long neck. Hmm. Hmm, no. Nah. I don't like that. It's kind of bittersweet. Let's move on to the next treat. Let's go with this one next. It's really a little one. I'm not sure how to say it. Bianchi, maybe? It's chocolate and sounds like caramel around it. I was expecting soft caramel. It's harder. Hmm. It's really hard to chew. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to chew it. Hmm. No, it's okay. I can't really taste the chocolate. It really just tastes like a caramel, so that's fine. We'll give it like a sideways thumb. The next treat I'm going to try, this is a butter toffee. It says butter toffee leche, so it's the, the milk butter toffee one. This is probably my favorite treat from down there. It's really just a buttery caramel. It's amazing. And it's nice and soft. Two thumbs up. Next, we're gonna move on to Manicho, which is a really popular treat down there. It's a lot like a good bar, it's just milk, chocolate, and peanuts. So I have two varieties. I have the classic Manicho bar, and then the bonbons, which it actually says bonbon, but I'm gonna call them bonbons. We'll do the bonbons first. Ooh. Has a hard candy shell on the outside. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. That's delightful. It's like a peanut M&M. &M. Thumbs up. Now for the regular bar. That's a cool texture to it. any peanuts in the first bite. Let's try another bite. Still no peanuts. I think they forgot it in this one. That's kind of funny. Well, let's move along. The next treat I'm going to try is cookies. The brand is Circus and really there's a lot of different cookies to choose from and I was going between the Circus ones and Muneca's which has smiley faces on them which are really cute but the Circus packaging I just thought was adorable so I went with Circus. Now they have tons of different flavors. I went with vanilla because I'm not as brave as I'd like to be, but they have everything from chocolate, strawberry, even bubblegum flavor. But I'm sure the vanilla one's the way to go. So it's just a vanilla cookie with vanilla filling. It's 
Circus cookies definitely get a thumbs up. That was a delicious cookie. This one, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a really popular treat. Every time I go to Ecuador, I see these everywhere. Um, it's B-A-R-R-I-L-E-T-E. -E. So something like barriete, I don't know. Can't really pronounce it. Well, I haven't had one of these in a long time. I don't remember what it tastes like, so let's find out. I know it's like a chewy candy. It's green, pink, and yellow, so I'm gonna guess it's tutti frutti flavor. Let's see if I'm right. I think it's tutti frutti. It's got a really weird chew to it. It's, it's kind of confusing. I'm like, is this gum? I know it's not gum, but I feel like it's gum. It's kind of weird. Hmm. I'm gonna give this one another sideways thumb because it's not bad, but it's not great. The next treat I'm going to try is Yelly's Donuts. This is just a little jelly candy shaped like a donut. They have three colors. There's pink, brown, and yellow. I'm sure they all taste exactly the same. But we're going to go with the pink one. Thumbs up. Just tastes like a regular gummy. Can't go wrong with gummies. Now we're moving into the nerd section of the video. I should say nerd section of the video because they're not actually nerds brand, but I feel like all of these are like nerds. So I have three different brands with different flavors. We're gonna start with Pupitos. So it's like this, Pupitos. I have grape, so it says uva. And then I have lemon, limon, and cherry cereza. Uh, let's go lemon first because I know that's my least favorite out of those flavors. They are bright green. I thought they would be yellow. <laughs> let's try some out. Let's put a couple in my hand. Hmm. The flavor's not bad. It's really subtle. It mostly just tastes like a plain rock candy. The so part's not bad. They're kind of hard to chew. The coating's a little bit weird. Let's try the cherry ones. Oh, they look super weird. They're super spiky. I wonder the texture's so weird. Hmm. The texture's so weird. I have to give these ones a thumb down just based off the texture. They're like... It's weird that they don't crunch like a nerd does there. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Let's do the purple one anyway. Let's see if the purple one can redeem it. Nope. We'll beat those, get them down. Next, let's try the Busters. I'm hoping these ones are closer to nerds. So these ones are strawberry or fresa and blue raspberry or mora azul. They seem like safe flavors. Let's try blue raspberry first. Well, they look close to our nerds. Here's the moment of truth. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely better. Let's try the strawberry. All right, here's the strawberry. They're a little sour. All right, they're kind of good. The flavor is pretty good. It doesn't have that crunch like a nerd though. I want like that hard candy, the rock candy crunch in there. So I'm gonna give it like a diagonal thumb. It's not quite thumbs up, but it's better than halfway, so a diagonal thumb. All right, this is our final chance to redeem ourselves as far as South American nerds go. This brand is Okaloka. That's how I say it anyway. Not sure if that's how you say it. Okaloka Nanos. So this one, the pink and green, is 
strawberry and cherry. And then the purple and blue is watermelon and grape. Oh man, not sure which one I should start with. Let's do watermelon and grape first. This one has the box exactly like Nerd, so I've got high hopes. I'm really not sure which color is gonna be which. I would guess grape would be purple, but why would watermelon be blue? Huh? Oh, they're actually all mixed. Doesn't really matter which way you take from, they're all mixed. So we're gonna try them together. Hmm. This flavor is really good. I'm definitely digging this. Let's see if it has the crunch. It does! All right, these ones are definitely a winner. I'm gonna give that two thumbs up. Exactly like Nerds with a different flavor than we can find here in the States. All right, let's go for the strawberry and cherry. I'm sure these ones are gonna be really good. Yep, those ones are awesome too. Definitely two thumbs up. So if you're a lover of nerds, definitely pick up. I just get both because they're not that much. But definitely get both of these candies. The Oka Loka Nanos. These are a lot like nerds. Fun flavors, they're tasty. Next, we're gonna try the Frunas, which they're kind of like Starburst, but more of a natural fruit flavor. Starburst kind of punches you in the tongue with flavor and these ones are more subtle, but like I said, it's more natural flavors. So I have three kinds. There is the yellow pack that says fruit dust because it's a mixture of flavors. There is the green one, which is limon or lemon. Red one, fresa strawberry. And the orange one, naranja or orange. We'll do the yellow one first. So like I said, it's a mix of fruits. I think it tastes kind of like pineapple and coconut. That's my opinion. That's what I think it tastes like. So it's a chewy candy. Not bad. Let's try the lemon one next. I don't like this one as much. I'm sure orange will be a lot better. You have to chew it for a while before you can really taste the flavor. There it goes, it's coming in now. Yeah, orange isn't bad. It's a pretty subtle flavor. We'll close out the Frunas tasting with strawberry. Ooh, this one I tasted earlier. It's good. That was the best one to end on. This one I'll give a thumbs up, they're pretty good. I like Frunas. This is the next one we're gonna try. This one I already know is amazing because I've already tried it. It says Max. That's what the candy bar is called. And then it says Caramello Masticable. Flavor Fresa Sandia. So it's a strawberry watermelon flavor. I can tell you right now, I think this tastes exactly like the dark green airheads, which are watermelon flavor. And they're my favorite airheads. This is basically the exact same thing. But it's striped green and red. It was a really good one. I'll give two thumbs up for this one. Definitely get these and bring these back for people. They will like them. So good, it makes me dance. Now we have another gummy. They're Delphine or Dolphin gummies. I'm wondering. It says they're cherry flavored. Sorry, sauce so cherry. Okay, I thought they were gonna be blue raspberry, but cherry dolphins, that actually is better in my opinion. Oh, they're so cute. So they're cute little dolphins. Let's try them out. Mmm. This reminds me of something. If I've had something that tastes just like this before, what is it? I'm not sure, but this tastes exactly like something I've eaten before. Thumbs up on the dolphin gummies.
The last part of this taste testing challenge, if you want to call it that, or I guess maybe review is a better word, is gum. So I got some sour gums. My husband loved these. They're a huge hit for him. Uh, there are, I got two kinds. So Kataboom has like a liquid on the inside that's supposed to be sour. And then this one, super hyper acido, means super hyper acid. So this one was probably even more sour. Um, I'm gonna do the Katabooms first. So I have four flavors. I have fresa, which is strawberry, sandia, which is watermelon, cereza, which is cherry, and then uba, which is grape. Um, let's do strawberry first. I don't really have a reason for that, just had to pick one. Okay. It's not liquid, it's like an ooze. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like it at all. And it's not sour. This one just slums down for me. Although the longer you chew it, the better it gets. You just have to like get the ooze to dissolve. If you can get past that, the actual flavor is nice. See, now it's more of a thumbs up, but to start out, thumbs down for sure. Next we'll do the cherry one. I'm pretty sure that these are all gonna start out with thumbs down and end with thumbs up. I just don't like ooze. Becoming more tolerable. Now we have watermelon. So far, I'm going to say the strawberry one was my favorite flavor. And we're going to finish it out with grape. Yeah, I'd probably say strawberry was the best one. So these ones, maybe I'd give it like a sideways slam because like I said, with the ooze inside, it starts out as thumbs down, but if you can get past that, it turns into a thumbs up because the flavor is good. So we have it a sideways overall. Now on to the super sour ones. We'll see if they're actually super sour. What flavors do we have? The yellow one is passion fruit. This one's mango. And then the red one's watermelon. Um. I feel like passion fruit is probably going to be my least favorite, so we better do that one first. I'm hoping it's super sour, so I mostly just taste sourness and not actually passion fruit. We'll see. Here it goes! It's pretty sour. It's actually really good because it just tastes like sour like I was hoping. This one's a winner. That's a thumbs up for sure. I was nervous, but it was good. I'm going to do the mango one next because... I don't know. Okay. It really tastes like mango. Passion fruit one's definitely better. Ooh, this one's kind of hard to eat. Mango one's not my favorite. I'm not too big on that one. But I do like mangoes. And now for our final candy, the super sour acid gum in watermelon flavor. This one I think is gonna be really good. They're not kidding about the sour. They're really sour. Surprisingly, I thought I would like the passion fruit one the least, and I think that was actually the best one. So that's a shocker. Well, I'm out of treats. They weren't too bad. Some of them are actually really good. Here's my top three picks. The vanilla circus cookies. Those are amazing. The Oka Loca Nanos. Both flavors were spectacular. 
and the Max Bar. Those are my top three picks. If you ever go to South America, those are the three I'd recommend. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun videos. Bye!